I'm Natalia Levy and welcome to today's episode. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so happy that you joined me today. So just a quick story before we get into the recipe. When I first came to the United States, it was in 1999 and I lived in New York City and I was so mesmerized by all the variety of different cuisines represented from all of the different parts of the world. And one of my favorite cuisines was Chinese. And the first thing that I ate from Chinese food was fried rice. It was delicious. It just reminded me of Russian cloth. But I also absolutely love all the different shrimp dishes. The shrimp is so present in Chinese cooking and salt and pepper shrimp is one of my absolute favorite recipes. So today I'm going to show you my version of salt and pepper shrimp. Let's get cooking. The first thing that you're going to want to do is create your own salt and pepper mixture. This is what we have going on right here and I will show you how to do that. So set your saute pan on top of the stove and what we're going to do is we're going to, I have some citron peppers here and I like to make my own mixture of pepper. So we have the traditional Chinese citron peppers here and I also have a mix of black and red and pink and white peppercorns right here so I'm going to put it all together and what we're going to do is we're going to toast this mixture to really bring out delicious flavors in it. A very low, but just like that we're going to toast this. The fragrance coming out of this is absolutely magnificent. So on a very low fire you're going to be toasting this for about five minutes. And then we're going to add some sea salt to this mixture. And the beauty of this mixture, of this toasting, so when we toast something, we, we really open up the flavor profile. We, we just, it makes it very elegant and beautiful, delicious flavor. And now that you have the salt and pepper mixture, guess what? You can use it for anything else in your kitchen. All right, so we spent a total about 10 minutes of toasting this mixture. And now you can put it in the coffee grinder or I have this mortar and pestle. My spice grinder and now what we're going to do is we're just going to crush all the peppers and mix everything together and this is the base for your salt and pepper mixture in which we're going to be tossing our shrimp with. All right so the trick to this is having your shrimp really dry so I had it sitting on the paper towel and I like to use the shrimp that have shells on them because the shell, number one, is going to be actually absorb the majority of the salt and pepper mixture. And then once you take the shell off when you eat it, unless, you know what, I have actually heard that some people even eat the shells, which I personally wouldn't, but hey, if it's edible, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we'll put the shrimp into the bowl. I have some cornstarch here. So cornstarch is the traditional coating for this. You can also use as, um, as an alternative rice, rice flour or some potato starch. So I don't like to use too much of this. So we just give it a light coating, just based on the amount of shrimp that you have. Just see that each one gets lightly coated. This ends up being a pretty dry dish. So not much liquid going on in here. Okay, we're turning off our wok. We're preheating the wok. All right, so a couple of things that you want to have handy is some paper towels, because as soon as the shrimp comes out of the wok, we're gonna place it on the paper towel. Another couple of ingredients that we will be using is, I have some sliced Fresno peppers here and some sliced garlic. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going, while the wok is preheating, we're going to put the shrimp in the wok, we're going to cook the shrimp, and we're going to transfer the shrimp from the wok onto this paper towel so it's perfectly dry so we have no oil on them. After the shrimp is out of the wok, we're going to 
just quickly in the wok, toss the garlic and then throw some fresnos in there. And then we're gonna mix it all together, the shrimp, the pepper mixture, the garlic, the fresno in a bowl, and it'll be ready to go. So our wok is hot. Add some olive oil to it. I'm trying not to use too much olive oil. So we're going to cook the shrimp in a couple of batches so that it doesn't get crowded in this wok. And we'll cook the shrimp for two, three minutes on each side just until we see it get pink. And so as you can see, there's barely any oil at the bottom of the wok. It's pretty dry. Our shrimp, the first batch is ready. So we're going to put them on our paper towel right here. And then we're going to bring the second batch in here. And now we're going to put the second batch. Second batch of shrimp is done. We're going to put it on a paper towel here. And we're going to add just a little bit more olive oil so that we can cook our garlic here. We want to create a nice caramelized garlic here. Oh, the smell, the smell, the smell. Probably one of my absolute favorite kitchen smells is cooking garlic. So now that the garlic is getting a little bit of the color, I'm gonna put some Fresno chilies right in here. Toss it all together. We're going to add the shrimp back in here to just bring them up to the temperature. combination of flavors in this dish is absolutely delicious because you have this sweet fragrant shrimp, we have amazing garlic, we have Fresno peppers. So we're just waiting for all the flavors to come together. Beautiful, and you see this still looks very dry. There's no oil in the pan whatsoever. Okay, and we're ready to have it all come together. So we put the shrimp with our garlic and our peppers in the bowl. We take a generous amount of our homemade salt and pepper mixture. And use as much as you want. Like this is the one place where this is completely to taste. But if you are planning to take those shells off, just remember that the shells are going to absorb most of the salt and pepper. And there you have it, this gorgeous, delicious salt and pepper shrimp. Let me just take, I'm like dying to eat one. I will be taking the shell off. Oh my God, I can't stop. So I'm gonna be busy consuming this beautiful plate of shrimp. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, share with your friends, and I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life.